How's it going everybody? Daner here with North Central Coins and welcome back to another episode of the most rare and valuable coins from the United States. Today we're going to be discussing a Roosevelt dime which if you didn't know can be worth some insane amounts of money. Roosevelt dimes are amongst the most commonly used coin denominations in the United States and usually there aren't too many you can find that can be worth more than their face value. But little known to most, there is a rare variety on the 1982 Roosevelt dimes that can make them quite rare and sought after by collectors. Because this variety had so few examples produced, it makes finding them pretty tricky, but not impossible. And if somehow any of these make their way into your pocket change, or you find them coin roll hunting, you definitely want to know what to look for so you don't accidentally let a gem slip back into the wilds of circulation. In this video, we will explore the historical context surrounding the production of this rare and valuable 10 cent coin and delve into why it holds such importance in American numismatic history. Additionally, we will discuss any distinguishing and identifying features, its significance among collectors, and also the potential value if you are ever to discover a legitimate example. Before I do get into this, I would really appreciate if you guys would smash that thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and also ring that bell notification so you can follow along with my new content as it is being released. And make sure to stay to the end of the video if you would like to find out how much you could get for one of these coins if you did ever find one. Then without further ado, what do you say we get right into it? and discuss the 1982 No Mint Mark Roosevelt dime. Let's get it, guys. The Roosevelt dime, serving as the primary 10 cent piece in the United States, boasts a rich and enduring history since its inception in the year 1946. The United States Mint has consistently produced this iconic coin, featuring the likeness of President Franklin D. Roosevelt on the obverse. The authorization for the creation of the Roosevelt dime came promptly after the passing of President Roosevelt in the year 1945, a leader who despite grappling with the challenges of polio played a pivotal role in the March of Dimes and World War II. What makes the Roosevelt dime particularly noteworthy is its unique origin story. The United States Mint, which possessed the flexibility to modify the 10 cent coin without congressional approval, swiftly took action to replace its predecessor, the Mercury Dime. Chief engraver John R. Sinek took charge of designing the new coin, initially facing criticism from the Commission of Fine Arts. In response to the critics, Sinek made necessary modifications and the Roosevelt dime eventually entered circulation in January 1946. From its debut, the Roosevelt dime has maintained a continuous presence and been produced in substantial quantities, witnessing a notable transition from silver to base metals in the year 1965. Despite this shift, Sinek's original design has remained largely unaltered. However, the Roosevelt dime's position in the realm of coin collecting is unique, as it lacks the rarity associated with certain dates or silver content, making it less sought after compared to other contemporary US coin denominations. One intriguing deviation from the standard narrative of Roosevelt dimes occurred in the year 1982 when the Philadelphia Mint issued a distinctive variant. Notably, this particular edition lacked the customary P mint mark. Proceeding 1980, dimes typically did not bear a mint mark, and it was generally assumed that these were minted in Philadelphia. The landscape shifted in the year 1980 with the introduction of a newer style incorporating the P mint mark. The 1982 Roosevelt dimes without the P mint mark emerged as exceptionally rare and valuable numismatic treasures. The absence of this P mint mark on specific coins enhances their historical and collectible appeal, distinguishing them in the eyes of avid collectors. The scarcity of these dimes, coupled with the uniqueness of the minting anomaly, contributes to their allure among collectors seeking distinctiveness and valuable additions to their collections. An outstanding testament to their desirability and rarity is the auction record set on May 5, 2004 through Heritage Auctions. One example graded MS-68 fetched an impressive $2,185, highlighting the high value and demand associated with these particular 1982 Roosevelt dimes without the P mint mark. This auction success serves as a testament to the significance and desirability of these unique coins within the numismatic community. So to identify this variety, what you want to do is flip over to the obverse and take a look at the top left hand side of the date 1982. 
Now, if it has the P-Mint mark, then it is the less rare of the Philadelphia struck 1982 Roosevelt dimes, but if it is actually missing the P-Mint mark, then you have yourself a fairly rare variety. Now, some of the details and specifications for this coin, if any of them are off, it may indicate that it is not an authentic example. The coin was designed by John R. Sinek. The edge is reeded. It has a diameter of 17.90 millimeters and a weight of 2.27 grams. Now, the overall mintage for the 1982 Philadelphia Mint dime is 519,475,000, and the no mint mark is included in that. I would say there's probably only a couple hundred thousand or maybe a couple million of the no mint mark that were produced. The metal composition for this coin is 75% copper, 25% nickel over a pure copper center. Now in terms of the low end value for the 1982 no mint mark, I believe that it could be worth anywhere from $5 to $10 at the low end of the Sheldon scale. It is a fairly modern dime, so if you find one, chances are it won't be too beat up. But a lot of the time, American coins do see some pretty heavy wear and circulation, and it might not be the best looking dime ever. But if you can find one and it does score in that mint state range, it can be worth around $2,000 for an MS67 to MS68. If you can get a roll of 1982 dimes, bust them open, and the whole roll contains the no mint mark variety, you could definitely make a pretty massive profit. Now, what do you guys think about the 1982 no mint mark dime? What would you do if you ever found a legitimate example, or if you ever have found any of the coins discussed in this video? Let me know down in the comments. I would love to know. Also, I would really appreciate if you guys would smash that thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and also ring that bell notification so you can follow along with my new content as it is being released. But I think that is pretty much going to do it for this one, folks. So until the next one, everybody, peace out and have a good one, y'all.